Hey everybody. Well, today I thought we could take a look at a rather obscure prop from the movie Ghost in the Shell. So Ghost in the Shell, I think, came out in 2017, and it's a, a movie that was based on the manga or the anime, the Japanese anime uh, of, of the same name, Ghost in the Shell. I actually never saw the anime, and I actually never saw the movie, but when I acquired this piece, I decided I probably should check it out. So, <laughs> so it's a pretty cool piece. It, it is screen used. Um, if it is on screen, it's either very brief or it's so far in the background you can't really see it. But uh, from what I can tell, this was one of the little holographic generators that were on each of the booths in the uh, Akuza bar scene. There's like this big old fight that breaks out in the Akuza bar. And you can see these on the table. And, and there's one in particular scene where you can kind of see this pretty close up. It looks like the, this is lit. There's like a light down in here. And this is emitting some kind of a... A hologram and there's different ones there's, in this one particular scene there's a couple of guys fighting and then uh, this prop also came with this unusual piece too and I don't know what this actually uh, went to but we'll take a closer look at all of these but let me just show you some screen grabs from the movie so in this still in the movie you can actually see these are the holograms that are fighting but right down there is one of those props but now that one there you can see actually has lights underneath the bowl that's on the top but you can definitely see, if I can get a little bit closer there, some of the detail that's on it. So some of that detail definitely matches up with the one I have. But I don't think mine is one that actually lights up. In this still in the Akuza bar scene, we can actually see another one of those way back here on one of those booth tables right there. You can see it lit right there in the center. So they probably had several of these on some of the booth tables. There's another booth table over here, but I'm not necessarily seeing it. But see all these cables hanging down? Those cords? I think that's where that cord comes from. It's got to be one of those, because uh, there's some back here, too, behind that guy's leg right there. So, yeah, uh, it was definitely used, well, it is definitely used in the Akuza bar scene. And in another still from this same scene, when the lights are really bright on this table, now you can really see the square uh, part of the box down here. You can see it right there and the bowl is on the top so yeah that's pretty cool all right so looking at this cable piece we can see that it's made of that uh, that kind of braided material that you you know would see on r2d2 uh, back in the day it's, they still make this stuff but it's kind of an interesting kind of thing i don't know if there's actually anything in it wire wise or anything i don't think this was actually meant to have any electricity or anything hooked up to it because it strictly looks like it's just you know, some kind of a, a weird kind of like, look at the paint job they did on this. So it's kind of cool. And it's got this clear kind of thing going on here. It almost kind of reminds me of a hookah, like, a, you know, those hookah things. Because uh, at the beginning of the movie, there's a scene where um, every everybody gets shot up at this uh, dinner table kind of thing. And you can see a couple of the guys smoking a hookah type of pipe or something. But those cables were red, not like this. So I, because originally I thought that it was from that scene, but it's not. But it looks like something that might be like a, you know, a smoking device where maybe this is some kind of a water filter or something on the inside. But um, if you look at that uh, one still that I showed earlier, where you can see those cables hanging down, it, it looks like this is plugged into uh, some kind of a clear cylindrical thing. And maybe this part here is what was plugged into it. I don't know. But this is kind of a weird looking thing there. It almost looks like, you know, maybe something kind of connects inside there. But yeah, it's kind of weird. You can see it's like a tape or something that they put around here. And this doesn't feel like it's metal. It just feels like it's probably plastic or something. So yeah, it's kind of, just kind of a weird little uh, attachment that goes on something on those tables. Here is the actual hollow emitter piece. And this piece is really cool. You can see there's all kinds of really nice detail that they put on this. You can see it's all just painted on and it looks like, uh, you know, just kind of like these weird little details that they put on. Greeblies. You can see that was just painted some kind of a copper color. There's actually some copper on the feet. Here is kind of a weird bluish green kind of color. It almost looks like this is supposed to be a switch or something. And you can just see, I think these scratches weren't part of it. They were probably just from wear afterwards. There's another one of these corner pieces here. This is kind of an interesting thing, this kind of grill-like looking thing. This feels, you know, like it's all it, it's all molded the same. It's all one big mold. Looks like the paint's coming off here. You can see these screws. These aren't real screws. They just look like it. There's another one of those on the corner. And then on this side, 
Just some more greebling. Looks like something's supposed to plug in there. Maybe that's where that thing, that cable goes, but I don't think so. And then here's that bowl. It's kind of got a cool looking, almost Star Trek The Next Generation style uh, pattern on here, like they did for Ferengi stuff. So it's kind of neat. This is plastic here. You can see, and there's a bolt that's holding it together. There's some more greebling going on the side here. More fake screws. That part there, but um, there uh, is a section under here. See that kind of clear amber colored tubing? So that is definitely the kind of tubing that you see on fish tanks or whatever. So in the movie, um, that is the part that lights up on those parts, but I really don't think this one was a lit, a lit version as far as I can tell, because let's take a look at the bottom of it. Okay, so here on the underside, you can see there's really not a lot to this. I mean, it's completely hollow. There's just this wing nut holding this piece of wood that's in here. And and uh, actually, I'm not sure what's in here. Let's take a look. Let's see what the, what's underneath here. Probably the whole thing's going to fall apart. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can get this out real quick. Okay, so once you get that removed, you can see it's just the, the bowl, the plastic bowl in here. So it's just glued in. You can see a little bit of that tubing that's inside there. But see, if this one had... Uh, meant to be lit, it would have had, you know, the attachments still in there. I mean, there's absolutely nothing in there to indicate that there was any kind of lights. By the way, this whole thing, if you couldn't tell, is made of foam. If You can actually kind of push on it, but you can really tell it's foam right in that little cutout right there. So yeah, the whole thing is foam. It's really wild. So it's kind of, you know, it's not very heavy, but it's extremely detailed for being made of foam. And so, um, more than likely, this was made of foam as a stunt piece, because a lot of stuntmen were probably getting shot and thrown around on the tables in that scene. So, this would be something that would be relatively soft to land on, if uh, one of the stuntmen had to land on it. So, that's my guess as to why this one's a non-functioning version. So, if you haven't seen the movie, Ghost in the Shell is a really good movie. Actually, I watched it once before, and I guess I really wasn't paying that much attention to it, because I was looking more for this prop. But I just watched it again recently, and uh, it's actually a really good movie. It has Scarlett Johansson in it, and it uh, does kind of make you question, you know, maybe if we're headed in that direction with uh, technology being the way it is and how we're kind of start to, starting to wear more of it on ourselves, on our bodies. And um, I know it's kind of got a creepy feel to it, the movie does. It's kind of a, it's almost a mix of like RoboCop and Total Recall and Blade Runner uh, <laughs> kind of all mixed together. It has that feel to it, and it definitely has that look to it. The, uh, the movie is actually visually stunning when you watch it. It's got some uh, excellent CGI and, and special effects, and I'm usually not a big fan of CGI stuff, but, uh, but that one looks really good. And just the way the lighting is, and um, kind of the eerie parts of it, the way some of these robots are half-humans or cyborgs, I guess, the way they kind of portray them in the movie and the way they look or when they get damaged or something... So um, if you haven't seen it, you probably should watch it. It's a, a very interesting movie to watch, and it kind of does make you wonder about, you know, if we're heading, heading in that direction. It's kind of scary to think about. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, um, that is a close-up look at this piece, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please give the video a like, and please subscribe, too. I'd really appreciate that as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks again, and have a good one.